What is going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My screen keeps falling. I need to fix this freaking camera. It's falling apart. Yeah, the screen is literally coming off the camera. There's like a screw on the display and I can actually see myself right now because as I flip up the screen, I have the G7X and the back screw came out. I gotta find a replacement, but Amazon has the replacement, but it's $19 for a screw or two screws, so screw that. So, this is way overdue, but every year I do a somewhat of a paint correction on my car and I usually do it around springtime. It's way past spring. So, last year when I did my car, I messed up. A lot of you detail enthusiasts or detail experts are going cringe, but I tried buffing with wax, which you can do. It also threw ceramic over it, and ceramic and wax don't mix. So, I messed up, and I didn't even know until now. So, I bought a polish that polishes your paint, but it's not a wax, it's just a polish. So, I can actually ceramic coat this and actually get the full effect of ceramic. So, that was a whoops. I messed up on that last year. But I got, um, I think it's Meguiar's uh, polish, and I got Mother's CMX um, ceramic coat. And the ceramic coat takes actually a few days to do. You have to let it set for 24 hours each coat. So, I bought a car, uh, pool reaper over in front of the garage, closer to the detailing stuff in the hose. And first, we're going to do an actual car wash. I'm not going to use regular car soap. I'm actually going to be using this. And I'm, this is usually a no no, but in this case, it's all right. In this case, we are washing the car with Dawn dish soap. A lot of you guys are going to like palm your face. You're going to say, that's awful. But honestly, Dawn gets rid of the wa dead wax on your car. And that's what you want to get rid of is the dead wax on your car. So I'm going to wash the entire car with Dawn, including the wheels. I know the tires are not supposed to because it dries them out, but I'm gonna add some tire dressing afterwards, trust me. But I'm gonna do all that, and Dawn dish soap works really good. And when I was 13 years old, when I washed cars in, at my house, I used Dawn dish soap, and I did not realize it took the wax off. I didn't know any better, but now I know better. But we're only using Dawn dish soap just to get the dead waxes off so the ceramic can stick even better. By the way, let's move Reaper in front of the garage. God, that cold start, it gets me every time. I actually was a cold start at a car meet. A guy wanted to hear the car start up. And when I started it, he's like, dude, did you ever your on the gas when you did that? I'm like, no, he didn't believe me. So I stuck my uh, my one foot out, my left foot, and I pushed the clutch with my right foot, turned the car on. He didn't believe at first until, obviously, he saw it. The cold start on this thing is crazy. It bounces so high. But it's happened ever since the supercharger, so I'm guessing it's the supercharger and the tune. So... I don't know. I'm not complaining. I love it. It's loud. And if you guys know me, I love loud. That's why I obviously got the Borla attacks and no cats. This is the best detailing stuff you can wear. Uh, really soft shorts that won't scratch your paint and some Crocs. And Crocs, I love Crocs. I, I wore Crocs all weekend, uh, this week, past weekend. So, yeah. They're pretty comfortable, especially when you're washing your car. You don't have to worry about getting your socks wet or shoes wet. All right, so I'm gonna rinse the soap out of this, the regular car soap. And I'm gonna score some Dawn in here. I'm gonna say Harbor Freight, guys. A lot of you may hate on Harbor Freight. I'm telling you, they got some good stuff, like cheap stuff like this. I had this for a year, for five bucks. Hasn't failed me yet. It's not like a foam cannon, it's not as good as a foam cannon, but it's, it's cool, it's decent. So now that we got the Dawn in here, So before I get into anything, let's take a look at the before and afters of these swirl marks. As you can tell, there's some there, some there. It's hard to tell on camera, but I'm sure you can see a little bit of it. Roof looks faded a little bit. Now, if this is in the sunlight, it, this looks horrible right here.
All right, guys, so we got all the Dawn rinsed off. And now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry it off. Then we are gonna clay bar this entire car with that clay bar using some detailer and some microfiber rags. But yeah, she's cleaned and man, I can't wait until, the, until this thing shines. It's gonna look so good. So guys, this is the satisfying part. The squeegee. So that's so satisfying was uh, not hydrophobic, but on the hydrophobic parts, like the windows that have rain X on it, it's satisfying. Oh yeah, satisfying. All right, so we're gonna spray some detailer down. I'm actually gonna put some water in this because it's about empty, of course. My luck, I forgot to buy some. There we go. So we got that area wet, and now I'm gonna get some on this. And what you're gonna do is, is go back and forth. You're gonna keep spraying this as well. And you can hear it. And once you feel like it's smoother, and you can feel it by hand it's smooth, then you know you're good. Okay, so now it is smooth. Even the clay bar feels smooth sliding across it. So what you do after that is you get your microfiber towel and rub off all the detailer until it is dry. It should feel smooth and it feels very, very smooth. See, how, you can literally hear the difference. It is so smooth. And that's what you want. You want it to be smooth. So when you go to buff it, it won't hurt the paint and it will come out shiny and super smooth and Man, it feels so much better. I love, it feels so good when it's smooth. All right, I did the whole trunk and it's shiny, but not as shiny as I think it uh, could be. And it feels smooth. I didn't buff it yet, I only did the clay bar. But I clay barred the whole trunk and oh my God, it feels so smooth compared to the rest of the car. Like, but like, listen to this, like right, right here. So smooth. Ah, man, clay bar makes a difference. Alright guys, paint this up a day later. It got way too late last night. Uh, condensation, well not condensation, but uh, dew, moisture started building up on the car, so I couldn't really continue to buff it. But today, we are back at Okay, so I must say, looks pretty good, but unfortunately, we still got the ghost stripe. The ghost, I mean, the stripe's been on there since 2015 until this year, so I guess that will happen. But just beware before you put stripes on your car because you may get that. I'm sure if you take it to a professional detailer, they can actually get rid of it. I'm sure they can do it, but it's not easy to do it yourself, and I'm not going to sit there for hours trying to get rid of this. So um, it did get rid of a lot, most of the. Uh, swirl marks like there is barely any left the only ones that are left are like the deep scratches so definitely cut those out but i'm not going to record uh doing the rest of the car of course because that's going to take up too much time but i'm going to do a quick overlap of the car so you guys can see the before and after Alrighty, guys that took forever to buff but here's what it looks like i even did the hood looks really good i couldn't get rid like i said i couldn't get rid of the uh little ghost uh Stripe there, but I did the roof. I literally did the rest of the car. It looks, whew, it looks really good. I even did the uh, spoiler, and the spoiler actually turned out pretty, pretty decent. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. I mean, it's 21 year old paint. It's not going to obviously be like brand new, but oh my god, the swirl marks are just about gone. And now I'm on the last step, which is, well not the very last step, there's a few steps after ceramic, but basically the guys ceramic is saying in four days. So one layer today, another layer tomorrow, another layer Friday, whenever, and 
I just gotta keep adding layers to it each day because it get, takes 24 hours. So that's what I'm doing now. Basically, you get like a pad like this. You uh, smear it on. You can slightly see it when you smear it, but you don't want too much or it's gonna be hard to get off. So you want to put like a light mist on there. And sometimes I'll stand back and put like a very light mist on there. Spread it evenly. Let it set for three minutes and wipe off. And bam, that is it. And I'm telling you guys, CMX, I love chemical guys, but their $39 uh, ceramic coat is nothing compared to this. This is so much more hyperphobic, so much easier to use. I'm sorry, Kimble guys. I love you guys, but yeah, CMX, it, it works. And I don't know why I went out of focus. Alrighty guys, we are three days into ceramic coating and buffing this car. I'm doing my second coat of ceramic right now. Finished buffing the car last night, started the first layer of ceramic, I must say. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Even the deck lid looks amazing. It, oh my god, it hasn't shined this long away in like a year. I mean, that's 20 year old paint guys. 20 year old paint shining almost like it's brand new. I mean it's nowhere near gonna be 100% close to like brand new, but considering it's 21 years old and been neglected for its first half of its life and never been waxed or actually <clears throat> when my uncle and aunt owned it, they used one of those brushes at the car wash on it. This thing's been neglected, so for being neglected for all the years it's not too bad. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's not bad at all. But sorry, sorry for missing Tuesday's video. I tried so hard to grind for a video this weekend, but there's just nothing going on. I tried filming the car meet, but there's just nothing interesting happening. So I scrapped that. I started doing this, and it took longer than what I expected. I don't know why this is on my shoulder. It took longer than I expected. So Thursday, which is when you're seeing this, is when this uh, is going to be dropped so yeah unfortunately hopefully next week and i'll miss another uh video i don't think i will hopefully i mean i hate doing it because i don't know i don't know how you guys feel about it but yeah it upsets me because i feel like i let you guys but that's gonna be the end of this video make sure you follow the instagram to see this thing shine on there oh my god i can't wait to get photos with it this weekend and i'm still have a few layers of ceramic and that's gonna take i'm probably gonna have to do one more during the weekend but right now She's looking really good, and she's going to be well protected with that ceramic. Alrighty, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Really do appreciate it, and see you guys later.